everyone welcome back to my channel so you joined me in Matalan um, I thought I'd just put this little bit of footage in the start of this video because I did go in there earlier in the week to get Ryan some t-shirts and myself some leggings and I did of course have a little look at the baby section so didn't want to lose this footage and I thought somebody might like to see what I've recorded there I did have some gorgeous gorgeous little outfits and prices on stuff weren't too bad some stuff is a bit more on pricey side but they did have some lovely bits and I did get Lucas some little leggings which I don't think I've recorded and I did get the baby some little vests which you're probably going to see they like them strappy ones but they're the yellow colour didn't have like smaller sizes in them and obviously I'm due all the summer so I wanted to have you know some of them for her um, hopefully you know everything will go okay I always say that don't I you know what I'm like by now but yeah some really pretty colourful things and just all sorts in there you might catch them best I got hang on I'll probably do a little baby haul of what I've bought there look you see them the strap it yellow ones them um, I did get them at the pack of three. hi everybody welcome back to my channel mum I am doing rubbish at doing these videos lately aren't I um, I'm just currently tidying the kitchen with my bobbly top on from Primark <laughs> Then I'm going to sort my hair out because I've done the school run with it all over the place. I've just fed Lucas, my little nine month old, and I'm going to go do the food shop. So I thought, well, I might as well take you with me because it's chaotic on a Saturday when I do the shopping. So I'd rather just go today. But I'm going to do a quick tidy and I'm going to get home from, I'm going to go to Asda, I think, and I'll show you what I've got. I do love Aldi. I love getting stuff out of there, but I just, few things that I want that's in Asda so I might do both I don't know it depends on Lucas really because obviously I'm pregnant I'm tired I'm carting him around with me as well poor thing but he's gonna probably have a nap when I put him in cast I might even go through drive through and get a sneaky coffee what do you think shall I get um, a medium decaf latte please yeah all. that was so not a flattering angle oh shit where's my plastic <laughs> Cheers. Oh, lovely tar. Thank you, you too. But have you got some um, ketchup sauce, please? Some red sauce? Ketchup. Thank you. You too. Donkey. Donkey. Oh shit, camera's there in it. Put it upside down. And I'm like, <laughs> oh right. Oh, got my foot on the me a little shocking today. So I did go and get myself. <laughs> I don't know if you'll have seen it. I don't know if I'll show you that footage because it were a really bad angle which ends. But I've got a decaf latte and I've got a sausage sandwich. So I think I'm going to have these. I might catch up on some videos as well, actually. I might not go to Asda. I might just go to Sainsbury's because I don't know if I can be bothered getting baby in and out. 
I don't know if he can be bothered me getting him in and out. He's in his car seat back there asleep with odd socks on. Yeah, it's that kind of uh, wash day today. Baby's kicking, she knows it's here. She knows the decaf latte is here. <laughs> um, right, so I don't know whether this is going to be hauls or it's going to be a bit of a day in life. I'm not sure. I need to catch up on um, Shan's vlogs, you know. And checked on Shan and Mummy Vlogger. I looked last night. She's not done one for a few weeks. So I'll have to send her a message. I hope she's doing all right. Um, and yeah, I watched Emily Victoria last night. She'd been to Pound Stretcher. So I had a little watch of Emily. And um, cause when you watch them on your telly, like, I always forget to leave comments and stuff. Because obviously it's my telly. It's not got me sort of channel on it, you know, to leave a comment. Um, but I love going to bed on a night. I do tea. In fact, Dave did tea last night because I've been getting loads of Braxton eggs. Um, I think it's just because I'm doing too much to be honest with you I'm back and forth all day and I'm not going to go on about it because it's just my life, it's the way it is but I've always got tons of appointments and stuff like that and I'm just always back and forth and I'll, I must top car up three times a week um, but yeah, um, I'm going to go in B&M get what I can in here because I need stuff like washing stuff I've got absolutely none left. I've used all my fairy. So I'm gonna get some washing stuff or I could get it. I don't know what Sainsbury's is like, um, their own brand. I'll just go in B&M and get it. And I want a runner for kitchen because I want to get rid of one I've got because it's just, you know, underneath just sticks to your manky floor. I don't know if that's a bit of my fault. <laughs> um, I do mop my kitchen floor, but I can be terrible at it as well. I hate seeing bits on floor. I'm always sweeping it, but I go over it with them little flash mops, but they only last a minute, don't they? And then they dry up. I did buy, so I did have a B&M all from last week, which I never showed you. And I did just get more or less cleaning stuff. I got like a spray for stairs, this the flora one that I've not even used yet for carpet. And I got um, a mop head, so I did buy a new Vileda one, six pound a piece. Six pound for a mop head, I mean, what? <laughs> um, but I did need one, so I did buy one. But yeah, it's just been a bit of a funny old time, and not it? Um, I'm going to... Like I say, I'm gonna do a B and I'll probably do a B and M all for this one. I don't know if I'll bother with old one or if I've just shown you a little bit of footage then. And I'll do a B and M all, and I'll do a Sainsbury's haul, and there might be like little bits of different videos. I did go to Mum to Mum Market last week as well. I did buy a few bits. I'm so behind. I, do you know I'm missing doing these videos so much? But I'm just so behind on them. Aren't I am doing a bit rubbish. But I have had a busy one, and I've got to go to hospital tonight as well with girls. So <laughs> it's still gonna be a busy day. So I'm going to stop rambling to you. I'm going to sit and enjoy my decaf latte, my sausage sandwich. I haven't brought my sugar kit, so I'll better do my sugars after. There are... So I'll do a little bit of a pregnancy update while I'm sat here then. Go on then. Yeah, we're still there. <laughs> Probably all gone. God, this bitch goes on. Um, yeah, I'm doing okay. So like I said, I've started getting Braxton Nicks and stuff, which... Sometimes I don't know if it's when I'm wearing my maternity clothes and they're a bit restrictive around my belly and it's making them come on or... But I did wake up with them and I did have a bit of a panic a couple of nights ago. Um, so I was waking up with them and obviously one of ours is always in our bed on a night. He just won't stay in his own bed and it's just the way it is. <laughs> um, I'm not going to push him away because he, I, I just I can't. But it is hard when he's in there because I'm kind of sleeping in one position all night. But I did wake up and I had some. She's moving like mad now. She knows that I've got that decaf latte. Um, but yeah, I did have some Braxtonix and obviously because of everything that happened with Lucas, I'm absolutely terrified. I did have patterns of contractions with him from really early on. And I didn't go into labour till 37 weeks, well nearly 38 weeks. So I didn't do too bad, but obviously I know I've got, I've just taken a sign that I've got to slow down a bit. Because I'd been to Laundrette this day and I'd taken loads of washing because I was so behind. And it's not, I hate saying I'm behind because that sounds like I don't do any of it. I'm doing it constantly every day, but I just can't keep up. I've obviously got teenage boys that are always rolling around in mud. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Always playing football and stuff. They're always filthy. There's all school uniforms. They have showers every day, so I'm up to there with towels. In fact, I could do with some more towels, you know. Um, just stuff like that. So I, it is, so, I've only got one washing machine. And so it is something we want to address, but there's just so much we need to get. So back to baby, I'm thinking, I'm 22 weeks now and so many days. And um, I'm like, I haven't really thought much about double prams. I've started to have a little look. Obviously, I need a double. My youngest, he'll only just turn one when I have baby, hopefully, and everything goes okay. Um, so I do need a double pram, but 
have you seen the price of the double prams these days oh my god i thought a bugaboo a donkey might be a good option i know you can get them second hand i know you can but this might be the last time now that i buy something like this and i kind of just wanted to get it all sort of new i did get a second hand with lucas but we're off somebody that i knew uh, i did get it he's got his chameleon uh, his bugaboo chameleon but yeah i just don't know the like the ones that i've seen that i'm that i could have lucas facing me as well a 1500 pound even the eye candy ones at 1200 to 1300 you still got to get your car seat and stuff and i'm just like well, there is just absolutely no way that we can we can pay that amount of money because i wouldn't i couldn't justify paying that on something like that when i've got stuff that needs doing in house desperately i need new boiler you know stuff like that it's nothing wrong with the boiler i've got it's just really old and we know it needs replacing i do have the carbon monoxide thing outside it and stuff but um you know the so, alarm but yeah it's just um do you know what my sandwich will be called boy i'm waffling on but yeah it's just knowing what to what to get i've you can get cheaper side by side you can get the baby jogger which i had and i loved before but they've changed it now it looks like a sort of different style and even that once you book it i thought well that's like nearly 600 that's still a lot but i know i loved that when i had it but only thing is i can't have lucas facing me in it but you can put a carry cot on one half for baby so she can be laid flat which would be great but the carry cot's nearly 300 pounds so again you, you're going up to like and it's just oh, i just don't know i need to have a right good look um it's not a worry that i suppose i need to think about but then it is because you've got to find that money haven't you and we need stuff for minibus this car needs stuff doing to it and just never ending but yeah back to <laughs> pregnancy i'm doing all right <laughs> it's been a bit sick here my sugars have been a bit up and down this week so the doctor says you know we're gonna get you in for insulin if it's same next time we talk to you so she says what you can do to change it and i says look out sitting there stuffing my face you know <laughs> i know i've got this sugar thing and it's the oats if i have cereal I can't tolerate cereal at all. I had a bowl of crunchy nut dinner and sent them sky high. And I thought, well, I can't touch that again. I thought, if I just have a, a small bowl, nope, can't tolerate it. Can't have oats, can't have rice, stuff like that. I can't, bread's a bit iffy. But I can eat chocolate. <laughs> I can sit and eat chocolate and it'd be okay. I don't understand it. But, um, because obviously I test, you test an hour later and if your sugars are alright, you've obviously tolerated it, haven't you? But for some reason I can't tolerate the carbs, but I know it's a, I won't go into it all, but carbs are hard when you've got stuff like this. Um, so yeah, I've got to watch that. Um, but yeah, there's not really much, I'm obviously knackered, I'm growing, I'm absolutely massive, my belly's huge. And uh, yeah, she's moving about. And Dave felt a kick in for the first time last night, which was nice. He came back from work, and she were, I was sat in a chair, and she was really active. And so he had a little feel, and, and he felt a lot of kicking loads last night. Because every time she kicks, she was and he puts his hand there. He bloody she stops, doesn't she? But um, right, I'm going to enjoy this coffee. I'll, I'll edit the shit out of this because I've really waffled on. And um, yeah, I'll probably show you it being M R on here, and then. Um, I'll do the same for his whole separate. Yeah, I might give it five. <laughs> My God. I've not even brought pram either. I thought I'd stick him in a trolley. They're all going to be soggy as shit now, aren't they? So it's actually Saturday night and I've just got kids to bed. It's all a bit wild downstairs, but there's a bit of inside B&M. Look at all them crazy spreads for toast and stuff, like fruit salad. They had some lovely Easter bits, which I thought I would show you. Lucas was playing with chain there on, on the trolley. Um, little painting things there. Oh, look at that toxic yeah, syrup. Oh my God, and they had like blackjacks and stuff. I ended up shoving them cushions between Lucas because <laughs> he kept falling over, bless him. And yeah, I love that microwave. I thought that was really nice. So I said to Dave, oh, I've happened to see a nice new microwave. I literally need my bank card taken off me. Um, right, I didn't do too bad. I did spend a hundred pounds in B&M and I said that's what I wanted for my food shopping But in my defense, I did get Daniel. I've started on his birthday presents. It's his birthday soon So we've got him a couple of bits I've got some black and white cushions because they're stripy and you know I can't resist the black and white stripe We like a cream and a black stripe, but I really liked him. And I'm sure I've seen him on somebody's video Bought them anyways, not I can do about it now <laughs> um, and 
I just got a few bits. I got my uh, washing stuff that were about oh, twelve pound. So right, I was going to go in Sainsbury's, but the problem that I didn't think I've parked really far away from Sainsbury's, and it'd mean getting all the way down here with trolley and all the way, and I've got baby and getting him in that car. No, nope, I'll go to Asda, but I'm going to have to really rush because I am desperate for a pee. Absolutely desperate. So but I can hold it. I mean, hopefully. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go to Asda. And I get home, and I'll do you and all. Right guys, I'm home, and I have just done for you my Alster all over there. I'll show you in this video as well, because how cute is this swaddle? For £5, and it's a gorgeous print lot. You'll see that in my Asda shop if you've watched it. If you even care. <laughs> but um, it's a little newborn baby, so I just thought it was lovely for a fiver, so I did get that. It's really soft as well, and I got Lucas some little socks. <laughs> um, right, put that over there. So this is what I got from b &Ms. It's so hard when you're doing like two different videos in one day. I feel, well, I always feel like an idiot anyway, but <laughs> um, yeah, back to b &M. So I'll show you this boring stuff. So I did get some kitchen roll. Can't cope with no kitchen roll me, especially when you get stuff out like dishwasher because it's never dry properly. So I've got some of that. And these toilet rolls are like three pound odd, but they lasted up a week. So I was 18 rolls, but they're not like the biggest rolls at all. They're like three pound odd. Um, I did get this, which I thought was like, because it were in the kids section. So I thought it were, well, it does say simply kids on it, but it's an anti slip bath mat. But I thought it was so lovely. So I've got it for the upstairs bathroom. I do have two baths, but the loft bath we just never use. We, nobody ever uses it apart from my daughter dyes her hair. But I've got this. Um, so when I tomorrow I'm gonna have a right good clean because Sunday we're out. We've got some on on Sunday. So tomorrow I'm gonna try and do as much as I can. But this thing's making noise. But I'm gonna try and do as much as I can in house and. Um, I'm going to clean up bathroom and then I'll put this out and it'll just make it look a bit flat and fresher what it were a fiver for that every time with that bloody sink yes yeah, salt and vinegar things were like 79p we did get some well I got some microfiber cloths for a quid which I thought were really good in B&M's because I can never usually find cloths for well for that cheap but I did today so that's good I got two of these I love these and there were more with sugars with these as well to say the noodles the 59p I think the yum sun chili fire noodles are very spicy but they're very nice got some flat whites for coffee machine and I seen this for like £1.49 and Joshua absolutely loves Twix and I thought how lovely would it be to make some little cookies with him you'll need butter and water so I got that and I did get these cushions I know I'm terrible I know but I just went I seen him and I just I knew how much I'd, I'd ate myself if I didn't buy him because I just love black and white stripe I know it's not like proper white it's like a cream colour but it's nearly white <laughs> it's not gonna stay like bright in here anyway is it with kids but I don't know whether they're for my bed or for my sofa yet but I did get them uh, I did get Daniel a headset for his birthday so I'm gonna put that away I also bought him these so I've made a start on his birthday which is only in about like a week's time I got the kids, some little ones, like my little kids, two of these, so should have got three of these, you know, should have got three because I think Aaron might really like one, but then I think Caitlin might, I might have to go get another two, I, they're only a pound each and I've only picked up two, there's a little dinosaur one, they love these with straw, but I did have one for Josh and it ended up getting broke not long ago, and I forgot, <laughs> I forgot it broke, but it did, um, and I just got this like pinky, purpley, moons and planets one uh poppets were two pound which i've never had before this cereal it is full of vitamins which is something i couldn't find the vitamins and i forgot to look in asda because millie's got hers but i've run out for older kids but there is quite a lot in there is it going to focus i did have a little look it was probably full of shit as well but yeah i just thought for a little change some of them might fancy that I got some of the flora, I've not had the flora for I can't even I don't even know how long. This is the last time I had my batteries going on the phone. I don't know the last time I bought the flora, but I got some today for £2.79. Fairy Platinum were £8.50 and I did get some hand wash. I was gonna buy this in the shower gel, but that Aldi one I got is absolutely gorgeous. Do you know that one that um oh I smelt for ages right nice after it. I'll try to show you it in a minute. Um we're like two pounds or something in Aldi. I got them some little eggs for egg hunt there 
deodorant because man I stink <laughs> I've never tried this one I don't think but I see it on people's owls and I thought I'll give that one a go because I need something powerful I got I got these I'm too honest just shut up Shana. Um, I got these they're like giant Oreos that were 79p I got the girls Lucas is just trashing my living room I got the girls and me some um, hair bubbles because we've run out well, we haven't run out. They'll be somewhere. <laughs> but just don't know where they are. Probably in Uber. At his at them. <laughs> but £1.49. And these were like 35p. And I thought, well, I'll get a couple of them. See what they like. Dark chocolate peppermint. And milk chocolate nut praline. I think I got two of the peppermint. Yeah. 35p each. Got them. Get some sweets when I pick them up. Some toothpaste for the baby. Some more toothbrushes for... I mean, lots of them have those electric toothbrushes, but... I don't. I've only got like your standard, <laughs> standard one, and Dave's got like an electric one. But me, no, I just use these. But sometimes one at case is like I need a toothbrush, so I've just picked them up. We've got some Chocolino chocolate bars that were a pound. They were like the King de Bueno ones. Two lots of toothpaste and some fire by counts that were like one pound nineteen, and you get nine. I did get. I did get this as well for wall. You get some chart with it. I'm coming, Mister. But I thought this would be good for writing down what's for tea because I just saw it. Mum, what's for tea? Mum, what's for tea? So I thought I'd give that a go and stick it probably. It's like not messy. I've got quite a lot of washing out. Um, but I thought I'd stick it next to that one. That remember thing. So I've got some more chalk now. So I'll be able to remember because I can write on it. But we've had to put coats in here because I can't, couldn't stand them outside there. But yeah, um, so I've got that. And the only other thing that I got was this rug for £12. But it's a washable one. And I'm going to use this in the kitchen because mine's just had it now. It's just completely ruined. I've had it down a long time though. But for £12 I thought that were really nice. You can get them in different shades as well. If it wouldn't have been for my battery on my phone, I would have taken more footage for you to show you. But yeah, when I clean the kitchen I can put my new rug down. I'm going to wash my other little rug as well next door. Because like I say, I've got boys who love to get covered in mud. So I need to wash that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little haul. And I'm just really quickly, I've sprayed it with that bloody bleach stuff in here but it's this shower gel it's from aldi i hope you can see it all right light's not the best in here put light on look it's just this and it smells really nice so i do recommend that if you um if you want to try it right everyone i'm just gonna pop on to quickly end today's little vlog and little haul it weren't want a little haul it were a bit a bit, bit of a big haul bigger than i should have done all shouldn't tell dave that <laughs> um we've been to hospital the girls have been in they both were really brave and they've just got a little treat afterwards in smith's aren't you yeah. you're both really happy they both got a drink now and millie's eating a toasty have they not chopped it for you mm -hmm. no. no they've not they've not chopped the toasty for them yeah, but um fine, they've chopped that one but they've not chopped theirs i've got i haven't had one for ages these decaf lattes and half missed them <laughs> <laughs> That's not good saying, man, stop talking for me. Right, so we're going to have a drink, head home. And yeah, I just thought you've enjoyed this little video. And I will see you soon on the next one. Bye, guys.